several things that you want to watch out for when you're putting together a real estate contract in the state of Florida, in the villages, in Ocala, in our area, Glen Stein Realty Executives in the villages and Ocala. Hope you're doing well. And uh, I really want to talk about negotiating. And when you talk about negotiating, we're talking about timelines in negotiating. There's several factors. There's at least three things that I can think of. And one is obviously the home inspection timeline. You know, how long are you going to allow yourself as a buyer to inspect, uh, whether it's a termite inspection or home inspection? And uh, a lot of times you can leave yourself too little time because home inspectors are super busy and they may not be able to get to your property in time. Now, typically the standard time is 15. The default timeline is 15 days. So uh, that's usually enough, but make sure that's gonna be sufficient. That's one thing. And of course, connect with your favorite realtor. If it's not us, connect with your favorite realtor for advice on that. The other thing when you're negotiating is uh, the timeline when the seller is actually going to respond to your offer is also crucial. You can leave too little time there are times that uh, you can say, you know what, I want a response. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and I want a response at four o'clock in the afternoon. And that may not be a, enough time, especially in this marketplace where we're seeing listing agents and sellers want to gather as many offers as possible and they're trying to build up as much competition as possible, right? And we've talked about this in the past with competition. I'm seeing some buyers uh, get worried about the price is going up too much and they don't want to compete. And I think that's, we're going to see this at least for the next 18 months. At least that's what the handwriting on the wall tells me after we're paying attention to what's going on. But as you know, I do a weekly update here on this channel. So subscribe to the channel to get notified when uh, the, the updates are coming. But you know, look, that's something that we really have to pay attention to the timelines. Um, you know, when we're looking at the timelines on when people are going to respond to your offer. That's a real, real crucial timeline. Another timeline, obviously, is your closing date. Okay, that's the third timeline I wanna to talk to you about. When we're looking at closing dates, right now there's a couple of factors. Sometimes people think, okay, I'm gonna pay cash, quick closing, that's gonna to be to the advantage, that's really gonna give me a leg up and maybe I'll get a better deal. And I think at this time, in this time frame, really, it may be, it might work against you. So you have to really find out, have your realtor, have your agent connect with the listing agent and find out what's going to be most important to the seller. And it might be an extended closing date. It might be 60 days down the road because they've got to move somewhere or they need more time to uh, sell their stuff or whatever they need to do. They might need more time and not less time. Quick may not be the answer, it might work against you. So find out for sure what is most important to the seller through your agent, through the listing agent, that type of thing. Really, really critical. So keep those three timelines in mind. If you have any questions, of course, you can find me at 352-572-3796, 352-572-3796. Let me know if you have questions. I'm not gonna try to sell you anything. It's basically, I'm here just as a, as a value. And if you decide to use us, it's fabulous. If you decide to use somebody else, it's okay, right? We're not, it's, 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 it's not a bad thing. So just let me know. Also, you can find us at buysellthevillages.com. That's our website. If you want to feel free to look around and see what's available, B-U-Y, sellthevillages.com. Take care.